absolutely crazy, indescribable, awesome. <laughs> The Stearman crew is fulfilling their dream of flying in the USA and I've joined them as a video journalist for Hanover Airport TV. This is how it all began. In June 2014, I filmed the amateur pilots and their two biplanes for the first time. The group of three friends, named after a type of aircraft, pursues their dream of restoring and flying old aircraft. The question which ultimately arose was, where does the Stearman crew go from here? Mm, maybe we'll find a third plane, then we can each fly one. That happened more quickly than anticipated. The call came in early March. We found an airplane. It just needs to be picked up. From America. Here she is, the Beechcraft D-18, a unique sight in Germany. Two nine-cylinder engines generate the right sound and speed. Of course, I initially envisioned a two-engine aircraft, and then I saw a plane similar to this one while visiting a friend in southern Germany. Before I knew it, I'd started looking around on the internet and found a red aircraft in the USA, but it was already sold, or so I thought. Then it was up for sale again, and I went and had a look at it with my friend Thomas, and that was that. But transporting an aircraft from the USA to Germany is complicated. So the Stearman crew got some reinforcement for Operation Beechcraft. Ken Morris, a captain and flight instructor with Beechcraft experience and over 35,000 flying hours under his belt. And Thomas Schutthoff, an aircraft specialist and the organizer. Everyone met up in Rockford, Illinois, where the Beechcraft was being restored. So now we're overhauling both engines, which means they've been completely disassembled, inspected and reassembled with new components put in. And they've been essentially reset to zero hours, as we say. That's why the aircraft has to be flown in, so not only the engines are at zero hours, but also the steam and crew, as far as the beach craft is concerned, that is. Now I can hear her. <laughs> Fantastic. Totally awesome. I feel safer with the airplane now, and with the wind that's blowing, we're facing a real challenge here. On training flights, we explore the airfields in the region, like this one in Janesville. The community really sticks together. Airmen all belong to the same big family. We drink a cup of coffee, board the plane, talk shop, already feel a real connection. This is very common among airmen, but even more so in America, it seems. The next stop, Tony's hangar with all his luxury gugor. The centerpiece, a Mustang fighter aircraft. This engine, the 12 cylinder one that's roaring in there, even when starting, it gives you a thrill. And when the throttle's raised to take off and it flies by here, that's simply indescribable. Wilfried and Bernd are allowed to fly along. What a perfect day. Then it's time for the Beach Boys to return to Rockford. Their American adventure with this veteran aircraft has only just begun. Next time, they'll be flying 1,200 miles across the USA, following the traces of historic aviation. Yeah.